All right, you guys, we are back with another episode just for you of The Anxious Creative. And this week we're talking about how to be productive when you're lazy AF. Um, I'm so excited to bring you this episode because I know that I am not the only one who struggles with productivity and it's taken me a long time to get better at it but let me tell you I've gotten some systems figured out not to say that I don't struggle anymore I do have to remind myself of these things from time to time but I'm so excited to share with you the hacks that I've learned to be productive when you're a lazy mother I was gonna say, I was gonna go on, but we don't need to start the episode off with the F bomb. Anyway, you guys are gonna love this. We're gonna have so much fun. So let's get ready. I overthink, I overshare, and I overanalyze. So come explore with me as I chat about business, life, and relationships all through the lens of an anxious creative. All right, you guys, I am so excited. And if you didn't know already, the Anxious Creative Podcast is not only in your earbuds, but it is also on YouTube. If you're watching this right now, you already know that. So welcome. I'm so excited to be able to hang out with you kind of in real life right now and bring you this podcast. So if you're not already subscribed over on YouTube, uh, you can find me there, Don Bradley, and we can hang out and we can you can see me doing the podcast live. All right, so let's get into this episode. How to be productive when you're lazy AF. You guys, I know that you've asked for this so much time. Us anxious creatives, it's hard. And I don't want to use anxiety as a crutch, but I know that I know how it works because I'm one of you. I get you. And you guys have asked for this. So I'm so excited to bring to you my hacks to productivity. Because let me tell you, when I first went into business for myself, and it's not just all about business, but I am theming things around business um, right now in the podcast. But when I went to business for myself, it's hard being a, in a creative and anxious and trying to do business because the, se- the two kind of seem to clash and be like opposite ends of a magnet and it's hard because we have all these ideas of things we want to do and even if you're not in business for yourself if you're just listening in on this and you'd like to be more productive in your life it's hard because sometimes I was just having this conversation with someone I find it really hard to to want to do the menial tasks and a lot of the times productivity comes in doing the little tasks right? Like, um, if you guys listened in to, or no, I don't think this one's even aired yet. I don't, I won't give away a future podcast episode, but we talk about like hanging up your coat on a hanger. Those are little steps that I find tedious and annoying because they're not as a creative person. I like challenges. I like to, you know, be able to see a difference in something, but like little tips, little things to productivity or, or productivity is often made up of the like little tiny steps that I don't want. I just want to get to the end point. But if you guys have heard me teach and speak and listened in before, you know that you can't go from the bottom of the staircase to the top of the staircase in one leap unless you've got real long legs, right? You have to take those little steps. And that first step can kind of seem like pointless and annoying and like, I'm not that much farther up from the bottom, like where I was standing before. Why am I even doing this? And that's where I've got caught up a lot is like, why even, I just want to be at the top of the staircase already. I just want to be there. I don't want to go to the first step. I just want to take a leap. And while I do believe in taking big giant leaps in your life and in your business, sometimes in order to get to the place you want to go, you do have to take a leap, but it means taking a leap to that first step. And so I don't know if you guys are following. I believe, I think taking big leaps, steps of faith and things like that are good. Like I took a big business risk and a life risk five years ago when I moved to Calgary and knew no one had nothing planned for my business at all and just dove in. I think that's really good because I can get caught up in the trying to have everything organized and put together and in place and I actually self-sabotage that way because I start getting nitty gritty and picky and I don't ever actually take action. So let's get back to why you're here. Productivity. I've put together my five steps to being a productive person when you are not. How to be productive, like I said, when you're a lazy, when you're lazy AF. Okay, so step one, you want to have a clear purpose. I know we hear like the what's your why and things like that all the time, but Really, if I want to be productive, but I don't have a reason why I'm being productive, then it just really seems pointless. And I really struggle as a creative person and someone who deals a lot with anxiety, as you guys know, 
I need to kind of have a reason why. I also am like that person who asks a ton of questions with people. We recently had a plumber at our house and I was, I'm like, I'm sorry if I'm being annoying, but I like to really know why behind things. I like to understand and I'm not, I always have to tell people like, just so you know, I'm not trying to demean what you're doing or I'm not trying to downplay. I just want to really understand how things work. And I realized that for myself, in order to be productive through things, I need to have a deeper reason. So like say doing the dishes, like why am I gonna be doing the dishes? I know this seems like such a weird, but like why? And it's like, well, because it feels really good to have a clean house or I know it makes Nick really happy when I do the dishes and kind of like being like, okay, that can motivate me because being productive in the menial tasks is really hard when it just feels pointless. I know you guys totally get what I'm talking about, right? Like, why even do this? This is stupid. What does this even matter? But what is the deeper reason? And I know for my business, I need to remember like on days where I don't wanna get up and go to work or when I have to like spend all day in my office doing stuff that I don't really love that feels like work, I tell myself, and actually every morning, one of the things that I do is I write down like, why? Why today? And I have this one phrase that I say over and over and I say, this is for her. And who that her is, is the girl that I used to be and the girl that I'm trying to help. And so this is for her, the girl that's struggling like I used to struggle, the girl that's frustrated and feeling overwhelmed but has big dreams and big hopes, this is for her. And so when I have those days where I don't wanna be productive, when I feel super lazy and then I use that lazy label as a reason to keep myself small or to keep myself or like thinking, well, I'm too lazy, I can never have what I want or I could never get that much stuff done in a day like that person, we all have 24 hours in a day. What's the like Beyonce quote or whatever? Like even Beyonce only has 24 hours in a day. It's how we use them. And so for me, knowing why I'm doing something or finding a deeper purpose, I really, I'm that person that can't have surface talk. I like suck at small talk. I like when I meet someone, I'm like, tell me like, your not your deepest darkest secrets but like let's get just like into the depth let's really get connected i don't do well surface so same with being productive like i can't just like clean the house to clean the house i need to figure out like why like i need to have like a deeper purpose that really like connects with my soul and i think that you get that too so find connect with something deeper um a purpose like what gets you out of bed um is it to make a difference in the world is it to make more money is it to be able to take your kids on that vacation that you've been wanting to take them on like find a reason why what you're avoiding or why you're feeling lazy or why you're not being productive why doing this thing will actually help you get to your end goal quicker i hope that makes sense okay step two write out all that you need to do write it all out i don't know about you well i know about you we're the same person it all is in our heads swirling around and it makes us more anxious and it makes us more flustered and it's like i'm gonna forget this and get this write it all down literally like i have like a whole list of my to do's if you're watching this you can see me just wave it a whole list of my to do's that i know because they make me more anxious and it actually puts me in this anxiety paralysis procrastination that does not let me be productive. So if, if I can get it all out of my head really quickly, then I know it's out there and then I can then move on and focus on the other things. But if I don't get it out of my head, I actually can't get anything done because I'm so scared of focusing on something that I'll forget something else. So get it all out of your head onto a piece of paper. And you guys, I have to write it down on an actual piece of paper because writing it down digitally like doesn't work for me for some reason at all. I have to physically write it down and physically cross it out. And there's something about that tangibility of it that really works for me. So write it down, get it out of your head. Step three, now look at that list and prioritize. Now I'm the kind of person that writes things down and then has to rewrite things to organize them. My brain doesn't work where it just like, my brain doesn't automatically organize things really well. I need to like brain dump first. So like we said in step two, write it all down. But then I go and I remake that list in priority of like most important 
to least important. And so because often what I'll do is I'll start with the more fun, shiny, enjoyable tasks that aren't actually priority. And what I'll end up doing is I'll be spending, I'll spend so much time on the things that are fun, but are not priority. Then all of a sudden I panic because I'm not being productive with my time one. I'm just doing the things that are kind of like mindless tasks because they're not making me think or work and it's an easy out for myself. But what I do is like once I list in priority, I don't, I only allow myself to go through that list in its order, which is really hard and is really, it takes a lot of, if I don't have the list written down, I won't do it. But physically seeing it in order of priority, knowing I won't allow myself to go to the next task until I finish that first one and cross it off. It's super hard and you still have to keep yourself accountable, but you guys know I'm all about community and accountability. I have a whole community. You, you're part of my community here. I even I go deeper into business community in my program, Rock Your Business, which if you want to get on the wait list, you can go to dawnbradley.com slash R-Y-B and you can get on the wait list to join the program. It's your it's Rock Your Business, your stress-free guide to earning six figures. Um, it's great for us anxious creatives. Also, if you're like me and you're a hairstylist, um, it's a hundred percent for you too. So if the doors are not currently open, but you can get on the wait list if you're interested in taking your business to the next level, but getting it out of your head, like I said, so figure out your why, get it out of your head and then prioritize it and actually go through it in order of priority because that's where the real magic happens with productivity. If you actually start going through the things in order of priority, you will find out how much more time you have and you're actually not as lazy as you think you are. We're just, our brains work differently and we like to focus on the things that are fun and exciting, but it feels so good when you get those things checked off your list and then you're good, you're golden, you know you can work on things that don't need to be done right away or or aren't as pending. But what I've done in the past is like that anxious procrastination starts and then I actually procrastinate more, which increases my anxiety. And then all of a sudden, last minute, I'm doing things and my stress levels are way too high. And if you guys have heard my story before, I ended up in the hospital with a panic attack um, on August 30th, 2016. And I never want to feel that level of stress anymore. And so I'm like a spontaneous person, but actually going through and staying focused, being productive and having a routine gives me more room for spontaneity. I hated when I learned that, but it's true. So instead of anxious procrastination, because like I'm... I'm anxious about doing this thing. If I actually just go and do it and do it in priority, it is so much better and way easier. I hope that makes sense and you guys are following along. So prioritize and actually go through in order of priority. Do not be really disciplined with yourself about not moving on to the next thing, even if it's a little bit hard, even if you have to work, you know, you have to, your brain hurts a little bit. Stay focused, which leads me into fourth step. Stay focused. So, so, so much easier said than done. But you need to stay focused. What I do is I often turn off my notification. Actually, I don't have any notifications on my phone, you guys. I have to, even my little green button for my messages doesn't show the number of messages. I have to actually open my text messages to see if I have any new ones. I can't even see if I have new ones because I get too distracted. I also oftentimes have to turn my phone off, leave it in another room if I'm going to stay focused on something. Because the second my brain has to start thinking and working, it goes towards like, what's something that's fun and easy and fast and light? And I can scroll through Instagram for hours and waste my time away. So 20 minute, work in 20 minute chunks, put a timer on your phone, put it for 20 minutes, put it out of reach and then stay focused on your task. And it's amazing what you can get done and actually how quickly you can get things done when you stay focused. And I know this is a hard one because, because I know, right? It's me. I get it. But this trick really, really works. And then it feels so good. Like I said, when you get it done. And here's the thing, you guys, I like to think that I'm a multitasker and I want to do all the things because multitasking in my head um, makes sense because I'll get more done quicker, but I actually take longer. Multitasking actually doesn't work as good as you think it is because you forget things, you don't do things to the best of your ability and you get sidetracked and, and distracted. And so multitasking is actually a time waster, not a time saver. Staying focused and doing one task at a time will save you so much time uh, save you so much stress and anxiety and actually get you places quicker. I know sometimes when my like computer's taking too long to do something or like I said, I'm going to have to like do some research. I want to quickly go do like something else, but stay 
focused and try and do not multitask. And I guarantee you, you will get things done quicker. You will be more productive. Okay. And lastly, step five, have a reward system. I swear to God, you guys, my mom used to, when I was a little kid, had like a cleaning chart and stickers and I loved it. Still, I am still not a cleaner, but having something to reward yourself with, like award, rewarding yourself with doing like the fun task, like putting a fun task after you get these top three tasks done or like know that you'll give yourself like 15 minutes of just mindless scrolling in between these two tasks once you've completed like even if like there's like a little task that's not priority but you're like you know what if I get these first three I have a long list of things that are taking priority but you know what? if I get these first three done I'm gonna put a timer on for 20 minutes and I'm just gonna let myself like do some something fun or I'm gonna go let myself get that latte or I'm going to go like hang out with my puppy or like have some sort of reward system that you give yourself so that you, cause I know I need motivation so much. I need a carrot dangling in front of my face. And that kind of ties in together with the first step of like have a reason, a, a deeper reason why that keeps you motivated, but then also have something to reward yourself. Now it doesn't have to cost you money. It can just be like, I'm going to go read a book for 20 minutes because I love, or I'm going to go watch a Netflix show to reward myself because lots of times, and I know some of you are very similar to me where we get so caught up in like workaholism where like, okay, I've done this. Now I have all these things. And especially if you're a self-employed creative entrepreneur, there's always going to be things to do. There's always going to be tasks to do. Um, I want you to set up a reward system for rewarding yourself, even for small things. So if you have never set a timer for 20 minutes before and focused on a task, have a like a five minute dance party reward for yourself. If you put your phone away for 20 minutes and you stay focused for the 20 minutes and you're, it's the first time you've ever done that, go put on your favorite song and just go dance in your living room or go have like a piece of cake or something. Do something small that can reward yourself so that you can really so so it's like a job well done I hope that makes sense so just to recap you guys the five steps to being pr a, a productive anxious creative or being productive when you're lazy AF is have a clear purpose write out all that you need to do prioritize them and then I want you to focus and have a reward system Awesome. I hope that's helped you guys get motivated and realize that you can actually be more productive because I know a lot of you reach out to me asking, like, how are you so productive? And it's no secret. I've had to practice, 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 and it's a muscle I've had to exercise to get better at. So I hope that's helped you guys. Let me know. As always, leave a comment, um, leave a review, share this with your friends, share this with someone that you think it would be helpful with. And as always, subscribe so that you can get the latest news and when these get released. So thanks again, friends for being here at The Anxious Creative. I'm so glad that you're around and I love hearing from you. So at, always drop me a line over on Instagram at Don Bradley Hair and let me know if you loved this episode and what you'd like to hear more of. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.